back to Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Seas. This is day number four of a seven night sailing. And it's our first like official day at sea. So yes. get ready for some onboard activities today. We're not going anywhere. We're staying on this ship. Let's do it. First, lunch. Lunch? Lunch. <gasps> Windjammer lunch. Windjammer lunch. <laughs> Yay! Before we head out to lunch, I did want to show that we got this today, Last Chance Scan to Plan. They needed us to fill out a questionnaire, which we'll put up some video of right now, that shows what that looked like. It was a simple five question questionnaire, just basically wanting to know how we're getting out of here and how we're leaving. I don't know why they want to talk about that now, but they do. Very simple though, just submit that and put it in. Not sure how long that's going to apply, but that's what we had to do. So there you go. Since this is our first day at sea, this is probably a good time to show you some of the new protocols and procedures they, they have in place. Starting with the fact that on the elevator, they ask that you keep it to just four people or your party. So if your party is larger than four people, that's okay. But if you're going to be going on with strangers or other guests, then they ask that you just keep it to four. <laughs> We're on deck 11 and you know what that means. We in Gemma Marketplace for some food, please. And we've shown breakfast on other days, which was the standard breakfast you come to know and love from our Caribbean. Here's what lunch looks like. So we have some bread, some rolls, some pre-made potato salad, mixed garden salad, coleslaw. And over in the hot section, it's kind of busy right now. Mashed potatoes, gravy, loaded baked potatoes. Oh wow, cauliflower, onion tart, saute green beans, baked pasta, spaghetti, sauce, roasted pork leg with natural jus, roasted jerk, jerk chicken, baked Florentine fish, roasted pork medallions with wild mushroom sauce. We have rice, we have shoal, we have burgers, we have dogs, fries, toppings, and fresh fruit, of course. Idaho potato and leek soup, vegetable and corn. Over the deli station, looks like they have some dips, egg salad dip, hummus dip. They have smoked ham, sliced turkey, salami, Swiss cheese, cheddar, and then some bread to make it a sandwich. But here we have some, uh, looks like a Mediterranean lineup today. It looks like we have some pita, tzatziki, baba ganoush, hummus, um, different kinds of mayo. You want to make like a pita, I guess. They have kebabs over there. And then here, getting more like the American fare. Chicken fingers, fish fingers, mac and cheese, and then some more burgers and dogs. Is the dessert station, raspberry chiffon cake, which is uh, sugar, no sugar added and gluten-free, so they have gluten-free options here. Pineapple tart, and then we have a chocolate bar over here. Carrot pound cake, chocolate cappuccino, which is gluten-free. Praline cream puff, peanut butter cheesecake, and blueberry schusel pie, a vanilla Napoleon, that's what that is. Nothing like a table with a view. And look at this, wide open in the wind jammer. Love it. So one minor maybe difference in the wind jammer experience, other than them serving your food, obviously, would be that they don't have like table like things out like salt and pepper they don't have those things out at the moment but i think they have the salt and pepper over at the condiment station so really not that big of a deal one thing i am very pleased with which i was like not worried about but i wanted to <laughs> i i was hoping wouldn't be the case is that they are not assigning seats when you come in they're spacing tables and tables that you can't sit at will have this little table reserve sign on it so you know not to sit there but then the other tables that you can sit at will, won't have anything on it so that's kind of how they're spacing people a little after lunch dessert at the Arctic Zone, 11.30 to 9 o'clock at the operating hours here on the pool deck. Mm, vanilla, mix, and we had made mention the other day at Coco Cay how it was so much better on Coco Cay than the one on ship because the one on ship was like kind of icy and frosty. It's better today. Better today. So we're in the solarium eating our frozen treat. The solarium has like a like a ancient Rome or ancient like Greek see like the tile and stuff kind of vibe I don't know what's nice I don't know the difference between those two ancient cultures so I don't know 
<laughs> if, if they're going for Rome or if they're going for Greek. And the unfortunate thing is you can't even check on the internet because, I don't know, we don't know if it's, you know, it's the first cruise back, so you kind of have to get a little bit of leeway with everything, or if it's this ship, or if it's the weather. The internet has been, I don't want to say terrible, but it, it has not been good at it's all. It's been much spottier than normal. See, look, this is either Greek or Roman. I don't know, it's something ancient, but I don't know which one it is. Just spotted behind the solarium flag. It's a duck. Someone hit a duck here. Yeah, that's like a thing, I guess. Uh, Royal Caribbean. People hide ducks. It says congratulations. Oh, well, that's a fun word. Whoa, you found a cruising duck. Keep or hide, you decide. <gasps> Brought to wow. you by Rachel Richardson for somebody's graduation. <gasps> well, that's fun. Oh, we can rehide the duck. Congratulations to the grad. Wow. Where should we go hide the duck? On the Peekaboo Bridge. Peekaboo Bridge? Where you can look down into the bridge. <gasps> oh, okay, let's and go. And we'll have it facing the captain. <gasps> let's go there, okay. Quack attack, <gasps> it's straight ahead. Congratulations. <laughs> this is a fun little feature on this class of ship, although I don't know that it's available on every ship in this class. But you can come down here and look, right into the bridge. Oops, I'm not supposed to tap on the glass, I accidentally did. But yeah, you can see him down there and see straight through to the helipad. I stuck its head up in here so that it would, it would be more hidden, but it's still looking at the captain. Great call. Yeah. Now that's a good hidden duck. Now that, is really quacktastic. <laughs> We're on the move now because it's time for our first like big thing to do on board, which is the ice skating show. Ice show time! We're gonna get there early though because we want to try to sit front row. We always recommend that for the ice skating shows. So even though that's funny because for the regular theater shows, we like to sit up top, like way away from the stage. Ice skating, you gotta sit down front. Let's head to Studio B. And for those playing along at home, we see the beautiful artwork by the Royal Promenade, but we head down the Grand Staircase here by the midship elevators. Remember, Studio B has to be accessed from the midship section. If you go to the front of the ship on these decks three and two, you won't be able to get in. You have to come here first. Hi, friends. Now, we did get here early, but unfortunately, the first two rows are all reserved. Which I think it's because they want to make sure we're distanced enough from the um, the the performers. That's because, what I would guess. Because I would assume because they're doing athletic activity, they're not going to be wearing masks. Right. So they probably want to make sure that we stay distanced. But we have the first row that we can get. Yeah. And they do have like reserved things sectioned off in between spaces where you can sit. So like we're sitting in these two seats. And then these two seats are reserves, and then the next two are open oh. and available. So they are distancing. Also, the name, the official name of the show is Cool Art Hot Ice. There you go. And you see reserves, they did recommend having reservations, and they were checking them at the door. Because we mentioned you could get reservations for the Windjammer, but it's so far has seemed pointless. Mm -hmm. um, they were checking these at the door, so. I would say especially the ice show, because the ice show gets pretty busy pretty quick, like just on normal, like non-COVID wise. Like yeah. we got here 30 minutes early, and that section was already like fully reserved. It just opened the doors. So, because to give you an idea, we showed you these rows. So the first two rows, like we mentioned, are completely reserved. But then look at these sections. So you can see all the like little blue signs. Those are all reserved. So there's not really that many seats available in the entire Studio B. So that's why you need reservations. Now, to compensate for that, there have been many ice skating shows. I don't think we will have trouble seeing any show that we want to because it seems like they're doing more performances because they're limiting capacity for the theater rooms. Um, but go ahead and go on the app and make the reservations so you can get the time that you want. Art Hot Ice. Join us on our adventure into art and watch it come to life.
a blustery day in the hundred acre <laughs> wood. It is. It's been like kind of overcast all day, which is fine because we're just in the ship today. Yeah. So no problems there. But yes, we are running into a bit of weather. I don't care what the weather is. I being at sea, I am good with whether it's rough waters or smooth waters. At this point, just sea. I'm happy to have sea. Can you smell the salt? Take it in. So, did you guys enjoy the ice skating show? We were able to show you a bit of that there. Yeah, the, the skaters were, were really good and there's actually like some funny stuff in the show, which is always fun. The story was kind of like, eh, I don't know. <laughs> like it was like about art and different like types of art and like art shows. Then they played like a bunch of Beatles music. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. in the distance. I'm not sure, but I would guess Cuba. Havana, Unana. We're on a ship in Kenti, Cuba, Unana. Nearly time for our specialty dining, but it's not a chop brew. Have we transported ourselves to the streets of Italy? Ooh, I'd be good with that. How about we have a scooter in Italy while on a cruise ship? Sounds good to me. Sound like a bargain? Vespa. Where are we at? It's Giovanni's table. Yes, Giovanni's table. The original Italian restaurant. And look, here's the menu. Most of that out here. Last night I was supposed to eat, and we were supposed to make three, right? You might be down. So similar to Johnny Rockets, it's a scanning the phone on this little QR code thing to get the menu, just like at Johnny Rockets. So I guess they're doing that at all the eating establishments right now. All right, Matthew, you have a slight attire change. Why might that be? Yeah, I was wearing a tank. Gentlemen cannot wear a tank. You can wear a t-shirt though. That's perfectly fine. Yes, but Which not a tank. I've definitely seen people in tanks in especially restaurants before. But uh, on other ships. Yeah, yeah exactly. Ships. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care, it's fine. A t-shirt's great with me. Um, That's what's nice about a cruise, is that if you need to go change, it's just a quick walk down to your stateroom, no big thing. That's what I did. It took two minutes and I was back up and now I'm ready. So it seems like that's the case just for men. It didn't seem like it was an issue what I was wearing at all, but for men, I guess that's the stipulation, no tanks. But we do now have food on the table. We do. We have bread. Selection of breads. So this looks like a pretty basic like Italian bread. Um, this kind of looks like, I don't know it's what kind of- It's got tomatoes in it. Oh, does this one? Oh yes, ooh, that's a ponca right there too. Yep, tomatoes. They also gave us some olive oil and balsamic vinegar with some cheese to dip it in. Well, they didn't give us a window seat, but you have like your own little couch to yourself. With, That's pretty cool. With pillows. That's nice. I, I'm, I get to like carbo up with pasta and then just take it. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> I, I'm not in a couch, I'm in a chair, so it looks like that. So it's you, satisfactory. You can't take a nap. <laughs> no, no nap for me. I'm the only one allowed to take naps here. That's what happens when you try to wear a tank top in somewhere. Course by course. This is course number one. I got tomatoes and mozzarella with basil. Uh, I got the special, or not the special, it's the soup of the day. Soup du jour. Bum, 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 Dead in an Italian restaurant. I got the pasta of the day, and the pasta of the day was a linguine with white sauce. Now what all is involved with that white sauce is yet to be seen, but I will be finding out here momentarily. Excellent. And you? Carbonara. You always get carbonara at an Italian restaurant. A lot of times, yes, I do. 
Dessert time! I'm not a fan of the typical Italian dessert, so no. I'm taking a pass. Uh, but what did you get? I got tiramisu, and it's tiramisu in a little cup, and has a biscotti on the top, and I got strawberry gelato, just in case you changed your mind. I will try some of that. <laughs> I do like ice cream. It's kind of the same thing. And Giovanni's table dinner comes to a close. Yes, overall pretty good. Um, I enjoyed going. Um, it's definitely not our top Giovanni's experience on a ship. It's definitely not our lowest either. It's kind of like in the middle. The, the biggest pros were probably the service. Our server was very, very kind. Mm -hmm. Fantastic there. And it was quick too. Like yeah. we usually expect two hours for specialty dining and that was like an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. Not even, not even an hour and 15 minutes. So. It was, it was really quick. I think to me the, the pasta was probably the disappointment because when we've been to other Giovanni's or like Jamie's Italian um, and you take that first bite and it's like, ah, fresh pasta. And I'm not saying this wasn't fresh, but it just didn't hit like that and my like i guess main disappointment was it was actually when matt went to go change his shirt um i'm not gonna get into like details because we don't need to get into like drama here or anything but um one of the i think one of the people in the managerial positions um was kind of yelling at another staff member in like a not like super nice way so that kind of like rubbed me a little bit wrong. We are on a ship, so there are a lot of different cultures on board, and you know, that means that people handle things differently, and that's totally understandable, but like, I kind of felt bad for the other person a little bit. And also too, we ordered a steak, and um, it, it didn't come. Um, I didn't want to ask for it again because I didn't want anybody to get in trouble because of that experience happened before. So, you know, that's kind of the thing. Um, so we're definitely not holding that against them. Like, no, no, no. We could have reminded them. We just, we just didn't. We By that point, didn't. we were full too. It was kind of for us to split and try. Yeah. And at that point, it was just like, eh, that's okay. But overall, I mean, it was okay. I probably wouldn't go back there, me personally. I'm excited we're going to Azumi though. Like, yes. Week. Also, someone said they saw a whale out here. Oh my gosh, we missed the whale during dinner. We did see some dolphins right when we came out. I tried to get them on camera, but then they were gone. Oh, uh, see the whale. We definitely did not see the whale. But look for whales, because apparently they're out there. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Maybe I should tell you how back. <laughs> the real reason why we're here outside the logo and souvenir shop is because apparently today they have two for 20 t-shirts. So we are going to take a gander. See? Two for 20. I wasn't telling stories. Oh. Okay, shirts. Well, that's nice. If you missed out on getting a souvenir at Coco K, you can get one here. Very nice. These aren't too bad. These are pretty nice t-shirts. Oh, Cozumel, that's where we're going tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. Nassau, where we left from. It's like we have our whole itinerary in t-shirt form. Just to give you an idea, typically, this shirt would be $16.95. So, with this deal, you're getting two for 20. That's pretty good, especially since you can get the Coco K ones. That's pretty neat. And just in case you didn't know, this logo and souvenir store that I just went into is in the World Promenade. It's where you can find pretty much all the shopping on board. majestic those locks blowing in the wind is this what models do i don't know yeah that's exactly it <laughs> come on bro, let your body move to the music adventure ocean that's for kids no i'm a big kid so i get to go too okay challengers arcade i believe is the name and uh yeah i wanted to point out first thing though some games are not available they turn them off to like keep you distance oh like every other game yeah it's the same in like the casino. Well, I, I hope they don't block out the good games. Yeah, like Super Monkey Ball, out. Fruit Ninja, in. 
See, I would have actually played this out. Oh, you can win a duck. Why did they knock out all the ski balls? Why not just leave the middle one closed and then have the two on the end? It's the cool light up blue and green one. That's not even the biggest oh, travesty. I see now. Laughing madness. Our Una favorite. Unavailable. We have such history with this game. I lost my C pass card in this slot on independence of the seas. Maybe that's why they closed it. They didn't want any more trouble out of you. Maybe. She's choosing her character, which if I know anything, I know who it's going to be. Yes! Yay! I'm always Yoshi. Yoshi's your favorite. Oh, oh she's got first place in her sights. It looks like it's Luigi. per credit, so it's like six bucks to play Guitar Hero. Unfortunately, we didn't know that until I swiped the first one in and I can't get it back, so. I kind of committed, kinda but. Committed now. Well, you, you just make this rock session count for something. This is the most important decision you're gonna make today. Your song choice. I love me some Aerosmith. It's gotta be Bad Boys from Boston. I've played Guitar Hero in a while, this might be bad. And you started with media. Why didn't you go with easy? I wanted a challenge. Okay, well, that's what you're getting. Oh, I get the last note. Thank goodness. Good job. It's never for me to miss that last note. I mean, you know, I was trending to green. I mean, you rock. That's, that's all that matters is that you rock. The Adventure of the Seas Pool Deck Night Aesthetic is on point. Most excellent. Also, we've had some people ask about if the hot tubs are open, and they are indeed open. See? Open as in you can get in them, and in the case of this one, open as in there's no one in there. Another question we've been getting, talked about are the jacuzzis open, and we said they are, the pools are open. This one's not right now, it's close to nighttime, but here on the pool rules side, we go down to the bottom. Max up nine persons. We'll have to come back and check during sunlight to make sure, but so far that we haven't seen basketballs out here on the court. No, usually they're just out. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a protocol or or what, but there's no basketballs to be found. Oh, hello there. One of our favorites! Thank you. In the Imperial Lab. Alright, good evening everybody! Mickey do, Mickey do, Mickey! Don't break my heart, Mickey! Here we go, give it up for Team Fanta! Extra time in your... That is one point right there. I, I want could answer to any question they wanted about Spice Girls. If I see people in your team not doing anything, that's me. I'm not gonna give you the points. Okay? You need to make sure that every night's tell animal bunny. I think. I'm gonna go with that. Also, we received a cruise compass, which is kind of funny because this is the first day that we've got a cruise compass put into our room. So. Yeah, but that's fun. Tomorrow, awesome man. <laughs> and with our bunny friend in tow, it's time to say goodnight. That draws. Oh, see your spell. Sorry. Go ahead. That draws day number four to a close, and that means that we're more than halfway through this cruise now. Oh no! No, no, no! It's quite all right. We still have three more days of fun, including two ports. One of which is tomorrow, Cozumel, Mexico. We'll see what happens. We have some plans there, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so those plans might have to get adjusted. We might have to change some things up. We'll but see. Just like the ship, we will go with the flow. And hey, if you're interested in sailing on board Adventure of the Seas, another ship in Royal Caribbean's fleet, we'd love to help make that happen for you. So feel free to reach out via that travel agent information you can find in the description of this video. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number five. But until then, it's time to say goodnight. 
Bunny says goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels! travels! Oh no, it's head! Good night! Bye. <laughs>